Okay, hello and welcome to today's marketing video tutorial. My name is Declan O'Flaherty and in today's video, short video, I'm gonna show you how to create absolutely cracking ebook covers for free. So I guarantee you will get a lot of value from this video if you're actually looking for a resource to create free ebook covers because these ones are really, really good ones. Um, I've seen a lot of, I've created actually a video before about six months ago, which is actually one of the most popular videos on my blog about creating free ebook covers but today's lesson is so much better and um, all will become apparent as we progress so stay tuned all the way through to the end you will get benefit from this if at all you're interested in creating your own ebook covers for free so without further ado let's get straight to it so i'm inside powerpoint here and the first thing i'm going to do is going to create a new slide we're going to create a blank slide and we see the size of this slide here the page layout is actually very big so we need to render it to the size of an actual ebook and how we do that is that we're going to go into design up here at the top and then on the far left here it says page setup we're going to left click on page setup and then we have this up this box that opens up and we're going to create a custom width and height for our page and mine is in centimeters here so the width of my ebook is going to be 10 centimeters the height is going to be 15 now you can mess around with this any way you see fit so the width is 10 centimeters and the height is 15 centimeters and here we are now so now we have our template so what we really need to do now is just populate this with some great graphics a header subheading and whatever so the very first thing i want to do before we move forward is that today i'm actually going to create a white ebook cover and in order for that white ebook cover to look good on a white background it means i have to have a border around it and it's very simple to do. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. But just remember, if you're creating any other colored ebook, then you do not need to do this part. But it's only for creating white ebooks. And the reason why is because we don't want the edges of the ebook to bleed into a white background. So we want to do something different. And this is how we do it. We just put a border around it. So I'm going to go to the top here and click on insert. And then I'm going to go to shapes here. A drop down, left click on that, a drop down menu will appear. And we're going to go to rectangle. So you just click on that. And then we're going to go to the edge of the book here and just drag a border just right down to the end here like so and we're going to do it one more time for the right hand side another border here and that's it now today's ebook that i'm going to create is going to be red and white so that blue won't work so i'm just going to click left click on that to highlight it i'm going to go to format up here and you can play around with this and on the left hand side you can see shape style so you can have shape fill shape effects outline whatever and i'm going to click this drop down here and i'm going to use this one a red and white i'm going to left right click on the one on the right here and i'm going to do the exact same thing and that's my border just so the white won't bleed into a white background i hope that makes sense right so now let's put a heading in the title of our book we're going to go to the top here and click insert and then right in the center here it has text box just left click on that then left click inside the template itself and let's type in the name of my ebook is going to be how to double your productivity for life so it's going to be how to i apologize for the noise of the keyboard because uh, i know that can be irritating for people it's actually irritating for me but uh, i won't be typing for too long how to double your no that's not right productivity for life okay we need to make this obviously a lot bigger see 20 i'll go to 24 let's bring that down and there we have it so there's my heading obviously that doesn't look too professional but if we just highlight the heading here and then go up to format see drawing tools up the top left click on format and then we have word art styles so you can mess around with this you can have text effects as i said text outline text fill but i'm going to go to this word style art, word art styles and click on the drop down menu here and i'm going to go with this one because it actually represents perfectly the red and white of what my ebook is going to be about. So I think I'll make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to home. That's on 24. 28 is the next biggest size there. I, I think that'd be too big. So I'm going to go to 26. And drag that into the middle. I think that's the middle there. Let's see. And there we go. How to double your productivity for life. I'm just going to drag this over like just a little bit more right so that's our heading so now the last bit of typing i'm going to do throughout this whole module is 
or subheading and I'm going to put that down the bottom so again up to the very top here we left click on insert and then in the center here text box and then down the bottom we just click inside and I'm going to type in I can show you I can show you in wait what am I doing in, in as little as 10 minutes how to double your productivity for life and that's the last type I'm gonna do I'm sure you'd be glad to hear that right okay so I think we'll just center this and then let's see what size we can get 18 is a bit too big I'm gonna go with 14 Right, so we need to make this a little bit fancy as well. So again, up to the very top here, we click on Format, and then we have the Word Art Styles. I'm going to pick the same Word Art Style that I picked for the heading, but I'm going to text fill this with black, make it stand out a little bit more. And there we go. I can show you in as little as 10 minutes how to double your productivity for life. Right, that looks pretty good so far. Now, what I'm going to do now is put a border on the bottom and the top. You don't have to do this, but it actually looks pretty nice. So I'm gonna show you how we do this. We go up to the top here and click on insert and then shapes again. And we're gonna go down and pick a rectangle. And I'm just gonna drag a rectangle just across the top here, like so. And then here we have the rectangle. So I want you to, if you're, if you're actually doing a border, just right click on it, scroll down and then click on send to back. And then I wanna make this a different color because obviously blue is not gonna look that good so we're going to go back up the drawing tools at the top here into format and then on the left hand side you can pick whatever you want for your border i'm actually going to go for we go for this one actually i'm going to try something a little bit off color to make it stand out i'll go for gray and there we go pretty nice go back into insert into shapes rectangle again and i'm going to do the same for the bottom here so i'll go to the edge of the spine here and just drag it across and there we go right click on that rectangle or the border and again send to back then back up the format and then over here to the styles into the drop down and there's the gray again and of course you can mess around and do it any way you want to so yes i think that looks pretty nice so far maybe i can change just the red it doesn't really stand out with the black and the gray with the format again text fill um, yeah I think that looks a little bit better so so far that actually looks pretty good it looks neat it looks clean professional so all we're looking for now is an apps is um, is an actual image so today just for demonstration purposes I'm going to go into Google images I don't think I need to tell you that you shouldn't be using Google images on your ebook covers you probably get away with it on your blog but on your ebook cover that's probably a different story but however, why on, why on earth would you listen to me regarding matters like that? So I'm just going to use this for demonstration purposes. I'm going to get a Google image. So productivity. Um, the search tools and refine a search because I actually want a red image or somewhere close to red. And we'll just scroll down and have a look. I won't spend too long here. I'll just pick an image up. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, that's a good one there, isn't it? Efficient. Actually, there's a better one there. No time like the present. Right, so that's 571 by 480. That's fine. We can crop that down or we can um, shorten that down. No time like the present. I like that one. So I'll go to view original image. And we don't, need to, we don't actually need to save this image to a hard drive. We just right click on it and copy image. Go back to our presentation right click and just paste it in there and sometime in the near future it will actually appear if my computer speeds up all right so now we just drag it out to the edges to fill the whole space to the top and to the bottom Right, it's probably a little bit too big just bear with me 
Oh, that's too big now. Right. Okay, that looks, the lines are all still there intact. Um, that looks pretty professional to me. How does that look to you? So that took me, what, long less than 10 minutes? It actually just took me even less than that, a couple of minutes. And that looks like a professional ebook cover to me. So that's what, that's our design. You can upload that design to if there's any places that take your design. If the, you're probably a member of a program already, so you can create your design in PowerPoint, upload it there for it to render your actual ebook cover. But there's a place where we can do this for free and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. First, we're gonna save this image. So I'm gonna go up to the top left here, click on File, Save As, and then in the drop down menu here, we're gonna save it as, I'm gonna save it as a PNG Portable Network Graphics Format. You can save it as a JPEG if you like. And I will name this, what's it, Presentation 1, save that. And then it's gonna ask you, do you wanna save all the slides or the current slide only? I'm only using one slide. Actually, I have two slides, haven't I? But current slide only is what you pick. And that's it, it's saved. So now we need to go online to a place where we can actually render this image into an actual 3D ebook cover. And the place where we do that is 3d-pack.com. That's 3d-pack.com. And you end up on a site like this. And this is your ebook cover. So once you land on this site here, and you can do a book, CD and box, 3D box, ED box, and DVD box. We're gonna be doing a book for this one. So at the very top here, it has choose a cover. So we pick browse, presentation one, there it is there. And it'll ask you to choose a back side, but we're never gonna see the back of this. No one's ever gonna see the back of this book, so we don't need to put anything in there. And then it says choose a side. So the side here, what I usually do is just use the exact same image that we use for the cover and then create 3D box. I apologize if you heard an alarm going and banging on outside. Um, I have the windows open, it's actually a cracking day here today. And there's a free ebook cover that we've just created in less than 10 minutes in PowerPoint and then uploaded it here. Our images here and here we have a rendered ebook cover. And I think you can agree that looks like a pretty professional ebook cover. So now we need to save this, so we go down to here. PNG, I'm gonna save it as. And that's it, it's rendered. Now if you see here up the top, it has it branded as 3D pack. We need to get rid of that and the reflection seems to be huge here down the bottom. But anyway, we just right click on that, save image as, and we'll save it as e-cover. Wait for that to save. And that's it, it's done. We have that saved to our hard drive. And I'm gonna upload this to my WordPress site now and I'm gonna put it in the sidebar here to, sh to show you how it professional it actually looks. But there's one more thing we have to do. We have to crop this. We have to crop this to take the image out or to take um, the branding out. So I'm gonna open this with Snag Editor. You can open it with any editor you have, of course. And maybe it'll take all day for Snag Editor to open up too. Everything seems to be going a bit slow today. So I'm gonna crop this out of it. Bring it down to there, to there, wait, no. Into there, and to there, and save, and Bob Gerandi, done. Right, so now I'm gonna upload it here onto my, now, I apologize for people who actually know how to do this already, but I'm gonna explain this for the people who actually don't. There might be a couple of people here that don't, but how to put it into your sidebar here is very, very easy. So we already have that image on a hard drive, so in order to put it into a sidebar here, we need to put it into a widget. And what we need to do first is to get the HTML for the actual image. So we're gonna to go to new and then post. So like we're gonna create a new post, but we're not, we're not actually gonna create a post. And here we have, we're not gonna create a post, there's no need to title it. And make sure that your window here is in text, okay? It's not in visual, it's in text. And when you click inside and then add media, and then we're gonna search, upload files, we're gonna search for that ebook cover and there it is there e-cover double click on that let it upload and of course then you can put your urls in here or whatever so we'll insert that in and we just need to copy this html right click copy then we're finished there and we need to go into our widgets leave the page you can delete that page now it doesn't matter we just wanted that html 
and we're going to put this into a text widget we're going to drag a text widget over to the main sidebar right click paste the html save close and that's it everything done from start to finish just refresh that page refresh that page and that's it there's a ebook cover how to double your productivity for life i can show you in as little as 10 minutes how to double your productivity for life probably make that a little bit more clearer but i think you'll agree that's a professional looking ebook cover and it's created in under 10 minutes inside powerpoint and completely free so you can create this forever for completely free actually why not create these ebook covers uh, get used to creating them and then create a video showing other people how to do it like i just did here so i hope you really enjoyed this video i hope you got some benefit from it as you can see yourself that is a cracking looking ebook cover and it's created under 10 minutes completely free so i do hope you got some benefit from this i hope you'll benefit from years to come from it so go create your free ebook covers i've been declan o'flaherty and thank you so much for coming through to watch this video have a fantastic day more importantly have a really 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 productive day all the best